A federal judge in Louisiana, meanwhile, expected to decide on a case in the next nine days that could have major implications on the First Amendment. The, the Louisiana and Missouri Republican attorneys general suing the federal government last year, saying that the Biden administration colluded with social media platforms to censor users over topics like COVID and election security. The Louisiana attorney general, Jeff Laundrie, joins me right now. A.G. Laundrie, it's great to have you this morning. Thanks very much for being here, and thanks for doing this. We were all just talking about what we went through through during COVID. You're expecting a decision on this censorship case any day now, right? That's correct. Good morning, Maria. Yes, uh, the federal judge has indicated that he will be issuing his decision within the next 10 days, uh, and we are <clears throat> anticipating that decision. I mean, we know from all of the evidence and things that we've already put out to the public, the things that the government was doing, even as high as the White House, uh, to censor American speech. I mean, remember, we found in uh, the emails from then White House, uh, one of the White House staffers, Robert Flattery, that they were censoring both Tucker Carlson and Robert Kennedy Jr. during the COVID pandemic. And so, I mean, think about the things that wow. we know today. You know, when the government said, oh, we don't know the origins of COVID-19. Now they think they do. I mean, all of the information we found, the 2020 election, the Hunter Biden laptop, all of the things the government was basically hiding from the American people. And when the American people asked questions about it on social media, they had those people's information censored. Yeah, I mean, this is really uh, unfortunate and disappointing. We all lived it, and I know that uh, I was attacked. A lot, a lot of us were attacked on Twitter. If you just raise your hand about anything, even, um, you know, it trickled down to pharmacists. Pharmacy wouldn't even make drugs that people wanted because they were off limits. You had to get the vaccine or, or, or nothing, A.G. Landry. Uh, wh where is this going, and what's your expectation in terms of how the court rules? after we know so much question. about the Twitter files? You know, that's a great question. Look, we anticipate that we will get the injunction. What that injunction looks like is going to be interesting. However, I think what happens afterwards, if we do win, the question becomes is, does the judge's action, does the proof that we put out already, the evidence that we put on, give rise for citizens just like yourself and others to have a Bevan's action against the federal government. This is where, you know, Bevan's action you normally see when the federal government infringes on a person's civil rights, like say a fourth or fifth amendment violation. But we see, I see no reason under which you can't bring a Bevan's action uh, for a violation of the first amendment. That would create liability and a whole class of people who had, who had been censored throughout that time period to bring actions directly against the federal government. Yeah. One of the things that I am hoping is that Congress would then act and Congress would go in and create stiff penalties for federal employees and agents who infringe upon Americans' First Amendment rights by colluding with social tech, by basically saying, look, if a court finds that you did it, you're fired, you lose your pension, so forth. Like, yeah. there should be teeth in the law. Yeah, what a shame, Todd Pyro, that uh, people were fired, people got sick, people died because of this misinformation and this censorship from government. I, I think it's a horrific mark on our society and on our government. My only question for you, Mr. Landry, A.G. Landry, are you convinced that you have standing? Because in a lot of these cases that we're seeing before the court right now, <clears throat> excuse me, the concern really is, do these AGs of these states and the states themselves have standing to bring these cases on behalf of certain people? Do you have standing? Yes, I do. I, I do believe we have standing. I know that we've seen a couple of U.S. Supreme Court cases here lately under which the court is questioning the standing of attorney generals. Uh, it's certainly disturbing because if we don't have standing to protect our citizens and to go out there and protect our constitutional rights, the question is, who does? Yeah. Right.